Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm coming at you with another brand new Envy wig. This one's called Brooke. The tag doesn't say what it is, but it's Brooke. And the color on this one is Sparkling Champagne, which is one of their very beautiful rooted highlighted colors. I'm gonna talk about the color really briefly because I love this. It's one of my absolute favorite blonde colors. Um, and every time I wear a wig in this color, people go gaga for it. Um, look at how pretty that is. The base down here at the nape is a really kind of like dark golden blonde color. I would almost say it's like a light golden brown, but it's, it's a little bit lighter than even that. It's still kind of a blonde as far as I'm concerned, just like a dark golden blonde. And then on top of this, you've got this very beautiful sort of mixture of the light and the medium golden blonde. So it's, it's very pretty highlighted and darker here at the nape. And then you've got this very beautiful medium golden brown root. This wig also has a, zoom in even more, a 100% hand tied lace front and a monofilament top. So very, very pretty. This wig has a lot of volume, just epic amounts of volume. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Zoe Deschanel kind of haircut. Um, if the bang were ever so slightly shorter, it would be spot on a Zoe haircut. And you could always trim the bang or have a stylist trim it for you. Very pretty, lots of waves, lots of volume here, kind of Lolita-ish um, as far as like where the layering and the, I mean, again, very Zoe. Um, and if I would have picked a darker color, you probably would have seen this, but newsflash, Zoe Deschanel's actually a natural blonde. Anyway, so let's just pretend this is like her natural color. <laughs> um, so uh, this wig, is 5.15 ounces, so it weighs less than, say, the Sheena wig. It's also a little shorter. Um, the nape is 14 inches, so again, shorter than the Sheena. Um, the sides are 11. The crown down is 11.5. Um, so, I mean, it, that, that bottom most layer is pretty much ending right here in most places. And then the front here is 5.75 inches. And again, you can always have that trimmed up. I think a nice four inch bang would probably achieve the Zoe look if that was really what you were going for. Um, let me go ahead and show you all the way around. So very pretty. Decent coverage on the sides, but you can see my bio hair is still kind of poking through. So just plan your colors accordingly on the off chance that that might happen. My hair was actually red because I knew I was gonna be reviewing wigs again. I even had to dye my hair accordingly and ended up applying an ash brown to kind of neutralize the red tone so that way you know it would blend into these rooted colors in the brunette shades. And here's this side even though both sides are identical this is a symmetrical cut. So very very pretty. Again the back. So really cool. I love this in the front. It's just very cool. This this would be a good one for people who are trying to draw attention up towards their eyes. Just because of the way that the layering sits, it's just very, very flattering, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. So here's just a little peek at the layering here at the bottom and on the sides here. Lots of layering. Very, very pretty. And that color is just divine. Very beautiful. Okay. Open, capped in the back. Quite stretchy. Sides are stretchy at the perimeter. Extended nape here. We've got regular old ear tabs, but these will be fine for wearing glasses and whatnot. Lace front. Single monofilament top. And I think there's a little bit of permatease here at the crown. Let me check that out just to be sure. I'm so wrong. There is no permatease in this wig. It's just got a lot of hair. And the way that it's cut, there's a shot of the top down and the mono top there. 
the way that it's cut just makes it very voluminous. Oftentimes you'll find that wigs that don't have permatease, especially long wigs, give you a lot of hair. And that's because the weight of the wig um, in these longer styles will kind of like flatten it out prematurely. And so to give you a little bit more volume right off the bat, they just give you more hair. That also helps with shedding. Um, but if you find that, you know, you buy a wig and it has too much hair, all wigs come with anywhere from 150 you know, to maybe 300% more hair than you're actually ever going to need. So just invest in a pair of thinning shears and you'll be able to thin them out to your preference every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. I find this cap to be a little snug, ever so slightly snug. Oh, so it's like Stevie Nicks hair. Isn't this like Stevie Nicks hair? I totally, I, I think this is totally Stevie Nicks hair. Especially this color and with these bangs being like they are. Okay, I take that back. This isn't a Zoe cut. This is Stevie Nicks hair. <laughs> so, very cool. So again, this has been the lovely brand new Brook wig by Envy in the color Sparkling Champagne, which is one of their rooted colors. It's one of my favorite blondes. Beautiful. Very similar to the John Renault 12 FS8. It's ever so slightly lighter um, because the um, light brown that they're using here is more like a dark golden blonde as opposed to a true light golden brown. So thanks for watching and check out my website. I have a wig store all my own, sisterwigs.com, C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.